<laughs> you saw this coming. Hello, you sexy shits, and welcome to the Gents Lounge. So, today, I wanted to tell you something important. This is life saving! Even more life saving than having a drink when you eat a Popeye's biscuit! Ooh, Popeye's biscuits. And you know those bad boys will make your throat dry faster than a girl sucking you off. You know that wasn't going to happen anyway. It's Hentai Studios. I want to rank them and expose your chimp brains to other than Pink Pineapple and Queen Bee. So let's get this video started. Immediate S tier. No questions asked. You can't tell me that Bunny Walker is a terrible name for the studio. Because goddamn. That bunny never walked in the first place. She just full on sprinted, no damn consent, pulling my pants down. I'm not gonna lie either. I became a submissive man too because of Bunny Walker. Don't judge me, okay? You can't even lie to me either. Look at these hentais and think carefully. Yeah, I said it. Carefully. Think when have they disappointed you? Okay, dum dum. You didn't need time to think because. You knew the answer was right in your heart. Bunny Walker is the way. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. I can't even deny it. Collaboration works is poo-poo now. I remember a time when they were beloved by everyone because of these classics. Sadly, your nostalgia wink can't keep you up. Eventually, those shots won't be packing heat anymore. Don't even give me that. Well, actually, I like these more than newer hentai more. The booby physics stimulates my neurons better than this garbage. I have to rip the band-aid off and put them in the C tier. The nostalgia wank can't keep this poo-poo studio up anymore. You guys are all probably thinking, Who? Seriously, why did I even put this in here? At most, they were a one-hit wonder with either the series Night Shift Nurses? And sadly, it's not even the nurse hentai you're thinking of. Or, you know, it could be Lover in Law. But that's honestly about it. I'm looking back and they have nothing that's good. So either way, Poo Poo Studio with nothing else that's good. I don't know what to rank them. I think Poo Poo tier is... sounds about right. So, let's move on to Studio Edge. And man, I'm starting to feel like a boomer. Because... I'm thinking each random studio you guys see that's not Pink Pineapple, Bunny Walker, or Queen Bee will go... Who? Okay, just trust me and listen to what I have to say. You know, the random guy on the internet for once and check them out. I don't know what it is, but man! Do they just know how to get me acting up? Well, yes, I love it. I'm going to be a harsh critic here and say, I think C tier to be honest. They just don't have a big catalog of hentai that makes it a good studio. Moving on though, let's go to Loon Pictures. Loon Pictures don't have a big catalog of hentai, but they make up for it by choosing quality over quantity. And you know what? I can appreciate that. I really can. For all their hard work, I think A tier feels right. I just wish they produced more hentai. Oh my god. Let's go to Suzuki Murano. And man, it is a sad day. Suzuki Murano reminds me that I really loved the studio a few years back, and I was pretty hyped to watch all the hentais that they produced. But now, I kind of have this sour taste when it comes to them. They got the case of the Poro Syndrome. And if you don't know what Poro Syndrome is, it's essentially just copy and paste every girl and just put a different wig on them. That's it. The more I realize that, I just started to not watch them anymore. I repeat, I do not want to watch clones Blow each other's backs out. That is not my taste. I need I need some soul, man. No, Suzuki Murano, they're just somebody that I used to know. Don't play that song. I don't want to remind myself. But I have to do it and give them a D tier. On to Mary Jane. And let me just say MJ, not this MJ. When I think of them, I think the impression that it gives me is, oh yeah, you exist. Seriously. Who bothers to remember them? But when I look back and what they've produced, it changes my mind a bit and think that they're pretty good as a studio. 
but they kind of go into a streak of making good content, and then bam, lolly hentai. I'm not into that. But, you know, sometimes I can overlook when they go back on the hot streak of making good hentai. I think Mary Jane deserves A tier, even if they are a little streaky. Next, MS Pictures. Man, I feel like a hentai boomer right now. Like, back in my day, they were the classics! If you don't recognize MS Pictures, they're the hentai studio that has the most uncensored hentai versions released. I promise you, if you get a hentai ad saying, UNCENSORED HENTAI, it will always be from MS Pictures. You can find it on your own pretty easy, actually. And for that, all I can say is, there really is a god out there looking out for us. I won't even deny it either. I love a good chunk of MS Pictures hentai. I can't be disappointed or happy, but a good chunk of the time, they're off in the back of my head and I kind of just tune them out. Until I want to be nostalgic again. For doing God's work though, I will give them a certified G tier for being a homie to us. Oh no! Majin Label. Where do I begin with Majin Label? Majin Label is like that pinch hitter for your team. You expect him to swing and get a hit. And you know, that's how Majin Label started. They had some hits such as these. But now, they're washed up. They can't even see the damn ball anymore. And let's be honest, people only know Majin Label for two things. Kuruino and Euphoria. And I'm not talking about this Euphoria either. Get your clown glasses off and accept reality. Majin Label was the true one-hit wonder of hentai. D tier. Pashmina Pashmina. If you recognize this face, then you know the studio. She's the poster girl of hentai. If you went to a random anime fan and showed them this girl, I promise you, they would recognize her. Anyway, if you look at what Pashmina has brought to the table for hentai, they decided to live by the code of here for a good time and know when to leave. They made a couple of good hits that got pretty popular, actually, and some that I really enjoyed, actually. Sadly, they stopped producing content, but I can't be angry about that. For the boys and the meme culture it brought, I will give Pashmina a solid B tier. Good old Reliable. You can't go wrong with Pink Pineapple, but sometimes old Reliable does have its moments when they break down and then come back better. Maybe a little too much Alzheimer's. That's how I describe Pink Pineapple. They have really high peaks and, and are pretty consistent, but sometimes they just drop the ball and kick our balls instead. I'm not into that. And when they do produce that ass content, it's it's really ass. I'm talking about cold brown, holy shit, there's more than streaks now. If you look back, you can see a lot of heaters they throw out. But when they make something like this, it really makes me think, I really just waited a month to watch this shit. That's how you guys react to NTR. Which is justified, I won't deny it. But for overall quality and years of goaded material, Pink Pineapple goes into S tier. Poro. How do I describe Poro? Poro feels like the hentai studio that carried the hentai scene in the late 2000s and the early 2010s. And it was dominated by clones. I can't unsee it. They are the original copy and paste hentai studio. Look at this. It's just the same person with a wig on. I can't stand Poro. I just can't stand it. Fuck it. <sighs> poo poo tear. I'm just gonna say it. Poo poo tear. You saw this coming. I believe that Queen Bee isn't as bad as you think it is. You goofs are probably just following the opinions of everyone in the comments. I understand that you can be upset with not much movement and that it's more of a motion graphic than actual animation. But if that's the reason, why the hell do you read Dojins? The more you think about it, Queen Bee is just notions with extra steps. Queen Bee has done nothing wrong. Open your eyes, man. Just open your eyes. It's not a dream. Next, let's go to T-Rex Studio. And T-Rex Studios? Let me just say this. They walked so Bunny Walker could run. Looking back at T-Rex Studios, they never made anything bad and just knew the formula to make good hentai. You can't even deny it. Look at what they've made. I literally can't find anything bad either. Everything they produce is literally the cum touch. 
S tier. And finally, let's... I don't know why this is last. It's Pixie Soft. So, when it comes to Pixie Soft, I can only think of this. Oh! Ew! Dude! It gets worse, too, when you watch most of their hentai. And you just know a good ending is never gonna happen. Everyone just gets a lot of ice cream in them with a bunch of sprinkles, too. I can't be upset about the animation. I'm just upset about the story. Ah oh, man. I just can't stop thinking about it. I'm just upset they look like this all the time. C tier. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I really would love to hear your opinions and thoughts about my tier list, and I want to hear about yours. So type in the comments section about your tier list. Either way, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys later.